see my light bulb is shut and I have a new one installed and I have used some rust remover on my sender stand and then yeah I'm installing back the lamp that I just changed out then I'll be painting the sender stand again so yeah Thanks for tuning in and hopefully you enjoyed this episode as much as I did making it. easy to make mirror like finish to be shiny so I need some tools and in today's in the same episode but the next day I'll, I'm going to go and buy some hopefully better tools or else I need to just paint it with some sort of chrome paint I don't know how good it, that will be, will look like, but at least I know that will at least make it shiny. But I don't know about the variator cover state now and how easy or hard it will be to make it look like chrome. So yeah, I'll drink my coffee and then we will be going on. A 
center stand is finished. It just needs the springs and the the radiator cover here is all shiny and prepped. Took a couple of days to do this, like actually four days and thirty euros on sandpapers different for the angle grinder. Here's the cord of it, and I bought some discs for it. One disc cost me like 10 bucks, and then I bought some uh, also a disc set and all that crap to make this job a little bit faster. And it turned out somewhat good. I would prefer it to be even shinier, but that's a later day's problem. So I'm gonna go install it now and see how it looks. I wish I could install that center stand as well, but that center stand, as you guys can see, there and on the other side, supposed to go springs and I bought some new springs for it but I have lost the springs somewhere they're probably somewhere in this house or I left them at the oh, at the garage where I was shooting all of this rush what I was filming yeah the bulb replacement and some other stuff. So yeah, let's go install that to the scooter and then we will see how it looks. So at least it's shiny now and it looks fabulous. But the issue is that now is a little bit uh, raining, like tiny bit. As you can see, I pulled off the cover and there is already water on top of it. So I need to take off this variator cover, uh, put some sort of a uh, protection over this aluminium, which after I can leave it on. So I need some paste to protect this variator cover. O other than that, this is for now finished product so it looks somewhat good God damn it. Now I have a one problem more. 